So this is an unboxing video of uh, the Scorpion SX TX 14HFP non-spillable life PO4 battery I ordered from uh, batterystuff.com for my Triumph Daytona 955i. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Obviously as you can see here we have the lithium battery. Um, your positive terminal and your negative terminal, of course. Um, battery is fully charged, as depicted by the three LED light bulbs. It is quite light, I must say. Not, no heavier than a, a box of cereal. Yes. This is your hardware kit. Not that I'll be needing it because I have a lot of cables. These look like some uh, plastic shims. And we have what looks to be a souvenir. Um, you know, something you can put on the fridge or your wall. And this is a high quality box uh, made in China. So we'll see how this uh, battery works. Alright guys, I've done you the favor and I've saved you the labor of taking off my cowl and seat. This bad boy is going to go in in a second. And what we have right here is a YTX 14 bullshit motorcycle battery. Um, we have the four gauge starter cables. This is your ground. This goes your solenoid and there's one more that goes off the solenoid onto the uh, starter. And this battery sits on a battery tender. As you can see here the green light indicates it is charged. So we're gonna start it up real quick and do a quick before and after. Alright, it's close to 30 degrees and we're gonna start it up and let it run for like 5-10 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so it is installed. Uh, it's a pretty tight fitment, jiggles around a tiny bit, so I might just stick something in there. But, uh, it's fully charged. And, uh, we'll give it a go tomorrow. Alright, let it warm up for a bit. Now we'll see uh, if it makes any difference warm starting, which it obviously should, but if any faster. Alright, well, that does it for my review. Um, through what I've seen in my two minutes of testing, it certainly cranks faster. Um, and the weight savings are significant. Uh, in my opinion, if you're going for just cranking power, I think a regular sealed battery would have done fine. Uh, I think the battery that was installed was a 200 CCA rating. I think a 240 would have done fine. Uh, I feel like I should have done that instead. <laughs> But the weight savings are substantial, and uh, I can show people that I bought a $140 battery, so people think I'm rich. But there you guys go.